delivering quality education, expanding access to learning, serving learners' learning needs, tackling challenges of the present time, supporting every learner's dream, reaching young Pagomenos where they are today. Advancing in the challenge of distance learning, the official TV-based instruction of Deaf and Tagum City, bringing you quality education straight to your home. Plug yourself in. This is Deaf and TV. Na It's a new day of fun and discoveries and learning the world of Science 4. I am Teacher Grace. And I'm Teacher Mike. And, and we will be your Science 4 teachers for today's lesson. So ready your pen, your notebook, and your module, and yourself as we go to another episode of Science Discovery. <laughs> I'm holding now? These are snake plants. These plants are terrestrial, which can grow on land. How about this one? Do you know the name of this plant? This is a porous plant, also known as golden photos. This plant can be classified as aquatic or terrestrial plant, which can both grow on land and in water. Further, this is also considered a vine plant. For today's lesson, you will be able to identify the specialized structures of terrestrial and aquatic plants. Specifically, you will learn to identify and describe the plants that live on land and in water. Second, identify the different structures of terrestrial and aquatic plants. Third, Classify the characteristics and specialist structures of plants. And the last one, list the importance of plants to the environment. So, what are you waiting for? Let's begin! Before we get started, can you still recall our lesson from the last episode? Wow, what a short memory! It is all about body structures that help animals adapt and survive in their particular habitat. They have their body structures that help them adapt and survive in their particular habitat. Also, animals live in a particular habitat where they can breathe oxygen, find food, water, shelter, and protection, and can grow and produce. Did you learn a lot from your previous lesson about animals? Great! Now let's proceed to what plants are. Do you know that plants have their own characteristics? Yes, just like animals, 
plants differ from each other from size shape texture or even color and where it particularly grows well thank you teacher grace you're right now let's check out your previous knowledge about them by answering the following questions direction choose the letter of the correct answer you have five seconds to answer each item number one which of the following plants lives in water for survival a lotus b dorian c santol d sampagira time is up what is your answer the correct answer is letter a lotus number two why do grazing animals not feed on talahib and kogon grasses is it a those plants have thorns b those plants are poisonous c those plants have offensive odor or d those plants have razor sharp leaf blades your time is ticking Time's up! What is your answer? Correct! The answer is letter D. Those plants have razor sharp leaf blades. Question number 3. What would happen if the plant did not get enough water, nutrients, sunlight, and appropriate temperature? A. The plant would bear more fruits. B the plant becomes healthier c the plant still grows or d the plant would die your time starts now time's up what is your answer if your answer is d you got it right plants will eventually die number four which of the following is an example of terrestrial plant? Is it A. Algae B. C. Lettuce C. Talahib Or D. C. Lettuce Dark Weeds Time's up! What is your answer? The answer is letter C. Talahib Do you have the same answer with me? Excellent! And for the last number, which characteristics describe a shrub and make it different from an herb? A. Having a woody or hard stem. B. Having seeds in the fruit. C. Having many leaves. Or D. Presence of flowers. Time's up! What is your answer? If your answer is A, you are correct! Having a woody or a hard stem. Great job, kids! Plants are all around us. They live in different habitats. They have body structures that help them live in their specific habitats and adapt to varying environmental conditions. Plants are like animals. They live in certain habitats on earth. They grow on the soil in the gardens, farms, forests, mountains, deserts, and any other landforms. Some grow in water like ponds, rivers, lakes, streams, and seas. Others grow on trunks of trees, rocks, and dead logs. They survive in their habitat by using their body parts. Terrestrial plants are plants that grow on land. Some terrestrial plants are small while others are big. There are plants with big trunks while others have soft stem. Other plants bear flowers while others do not. Aquatic plants are plants that have adapted to living within aquatic environments. They are also referred to as hydrophytes. These plants require special adaptations for living submerged in water or at the water surface. 
Aquatic plants can only grow in water or in soil that is permanently saturated with water. Plants differ in their sizes and shapes of their stems, leaves, flowers, and roots. Terrestrial plants may be classified according to their stems. You're right, Teacher Grace. Now, let's talk about trees. They have big, hard, and woody stems called trunks. They grow more than 6 feet tall. Examples of trees that grow well in the forest are Nara, Mahogany, Acacia, Yakal, and Coconut. How about shrubs? They have woody stems but shorter than trees. They do not grow so tall. Examples are rose, sunflower, gumamela, and bougainvillea. Let's proceed to herbs. They have soft, small, and fleshy stems and leaves. Examples are mayana and lagundi. Let's talk about vines. They have thin, long, and soft or wood stems. They crawl and climb up on trees or posts with their tendrils. Examples are squash or calabasa, beer gourd or ampalaya, and butter gourd or opo. Now let's proceed to grasses. They have hollow stems with nodes Leaves arise at nodes alternately, parallel veined and rarely spiral. Examples are cogon, rice, and bamboo. Just like animals and humans, plants also have special structures to protect themselves against their enemies. Thank you, Sir Mike. Now let's talk about the different protective structures of plants. Thorns or prickles. It is to discourage animals from trampling of eating them and help the plant climb through other vegetation. Example, rose. Another protective structure is spine are very sharp and they protect the plants from birds and animals that would see them example cactus hairs they are like short needles that penetrate the skin example cogon poisons and chemical defenses some plants protect themselves by secreting an oily liquid from their leaves that irritates the skin example poison ivy another is rough and thick bark it prevents the insects from boring into their trunks example nara tree pollen a powdery substance found in a flower that can cause allergies to some people example gomamela odor the foul or bad odor of some plants turn off some animals. Example, durian and guyabano. Well, plants are truly amazing indeed. Without them, we couldn't breathe or be alive today. Now, let's check if you catch up our discussion by having an activity. Are you ready? In your notebook, list two plants that you are familiar with. Follow the chart in identifying the characteristics and special structures of the plants. You will be given enough time to finish this activity. Your time starts now.
Well done, kids! I know you have a hard time doing the activity, but I'm sure you managed to answer it since all of you are Sai Amazing Kids. And if you listen carefully with our discussion a while ago, I am sure answering your module is just a piece of cake for you. Now, let's have a short recap on the lesson that we have discussed. What is the difference between terrestrial plants and aquatic plants? Terrestrial plants are plants that grow on land. Some of these plants are small, others are big. There are plants with big trunks while others have soft stems. Other plants bear flowers while others do not. On the other hand, aquatic plants are plants that have adapted to living within aquatic environments. They are also referred to as hydrophytes. These plants require adaptation for living submerged in water or at the water surface. Aquatic plants can only grow in water or in soil that is permanently saturated with water. Now let's assess what you've learned for today's discussion. Are you ready? Yeah! Now let's start! Direction Read the questions carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer and write it on your notebook. You have 5 seconds to answer each item. Good luck! Yeah! Number 1 Which of these plants grows well in the forest? A. Yakal B. Water Lily C. Corn D. Mangrove What is your answer? The correct answer is letter A. Yakal Next question Why do plants grow best in their natural habitat? A. They have bigger place to live in B. They need a cooler environment to live C. They don't need the resources in other places or D. Their structures are adapted to their natural habitat What is your answer? If your answer is D, you got it right! Next! Peter found out that some plants can bear flowers but do not bear fruits. Which of these terrestrial plants bears flowers but do not bear fruits? A. Avocado B. Gumamela C. Calamansi or D. Malunggay Time is up! What is your answer? Very good, kids! Next question. Kalabasa, ampalaya, and upo are all Karen's favorite vegetables. They have soft, small, and fleshy stems. What characteristics of the plants do they belong? A. Vines B. Shrubs C. Herbs or D. Grasses What is your answer? That's right! Kalabasa, ampalaya, and opo belong to vines. So the answer is letter A. And for the last number, Alina observed that her inner plant has spines that serve as protection from enemies. Which is the best example of plant that has spines? A. Rosal B. Cactus C. Guava or D. Sampagita Time is up! What is your answer? Great job, kids! The correct answer is letter B. Cactus Congratulations, everyone!
Did you enjoy our lesson for today? Yes! Wow! We enjoyed it too! I hope you learn a lot today and help you in answering your mojo. That's, That's all for today, today, kids. We have a great time learning and exploring with you. Let us learn more science facts on our next episode. Once again, I am Teacher Mike. And I'm Teacher Grace saying, Science is cool. Science is fun. Science is a thing that you can never run. Goodbye, everyone. Keep, Keep safe, safe always. always. Manood, makinig sa mga aral.